armor and personal protective equipment of the Imperial Army and Navy of Japan in the Second World War. Japanese bulletproof shields during the Russo-Japanese War. During the siege of Port Arthur, the Japanese Imperial Army faced such a phenomenon as an increase in the density of fire by the enemy through the use of rapid-fire magazine rifles and the first machine guns used Maxim, Madsen. The special importance of having protection against bullets and shrapnel was indicated by engineering and sapper units operating directly on the front line outside the protection of trenches and earthen shelters. In order to reduce losses, a number of portable bulletproof shields were made, structurally reminiscent of medieval siege mentlets, Tate human height shields for sheltering shooters that were used in the internecine wars of Japan. A large number of manufactured mentlets were used by Japanese troops in the trenches near Port Arthur. There were practical tests for resistance to hit by bullets type 36.5 mm, the best option was considered to withstand hits from 75 meters. These heavy shields up to 90 pounds. In the amount of 300 units were sent to the 3rd Army. Experimental type of infantry armor protection turtle. The initial direction of research of the Japanese army was the search for a way to protect against bullets and fragments of sapper units when overcoming enemy wire obstacles. An alternative type of armor protection in the form of a horizontal flat shield was tested. Considering that the vertical mentalit shields used by engineering units in the Russo-Japanese war have a high probability of penetrating through. The development was named experimental type of shield turtle. The main mode of movement with this device was crawling. The negative factors of the turtle shield were the large weight and dimensions of the structure, which led to the refusal to be adopted. Weight 30 kilograms. Armor thickness from 2 to 6 millimeters. Bulletproof shields, from the period of the Shanghai incident in 1937. The interest in bulletproof equipment in 1937 second Shanghai incident was due to the experience of street fighting during the Shanghai incident of 1932 first Shanghai incident. At the beginning of the fighting, the Japanese forces used armored vehicles as shelters like Type 87 Vickers Crossley armored cars, hastily built shelters from sandbags and barricades from improvised means. But such impromptu defense methods were either limitedly mobile armored vehicles or stationary. At the onset of the second Shanghai incident in 1937, the special ground forces of the Rikuzen Thai fleet, using the already familiar tactics of installing bulletproof barriers from sandbags, supplemented them with portable shields from ship workshops. Serialization limited is indicated by the uniformity of the design. Sheets of steel with a thickness of 6 to 10 millimeters were equipped with two handles for carrying and positioning. Bulletproof vests of arbitrary commercial type, from the period of the Shanghai incident in 1937. Despite the ongoing research and work on the creation of personal protective equipment started on May 4, 1922, the limited production of shields for mobile engineering detachments, the experiments did not progress beyond single prototypes with the exception of Type 92 body armor, as well as Type 92 and Type 99 machine gun shields mainly due to lack of funding. On the donations collected from the societies for the assistance of the Imperial Army and Navy in private companies with production related to metalworking, orders were placed for the development and manufacture of bulletproof vests. Conventionally, by design, these body armor can be divided into several types with some modifications depending on the material capabilities of the manufacturers. Part of the bulletproof vests is copied by European samples of the period of the First World War, the first group is the German infantry shells, the second is the British plate breastplates. The third direction is formed by the reincarnation of elements of medieval Japanese armor from modern materials. In 1933, the Ministry of the Imperial Navy received a request for 250 units to equip the Rikuzentai. In 1934, up to 90 units of early type bulletproof vests unofficially called the lobster type received a group of marines from the Sasebo base stationed in Shanghai, and an additional 30 units specially for officers were delivered in 1936. This type was a simplified version of the German Infanterie Panzer, 1918. Instead of metal shoulder pads, the Japanese version had an installed suspension system of wide leather belts with metal fittings, 
and there was also no bend on the upper edge of the chest plate to reflect fragments of reflected bullets. Back protection was not included. Weight approximately is indicated in 10 kilograms. The thickness of the hardened steel plates is 5 millimeters. The armor provided protection from pistol and revolver bullets, as well as from being hit by 6.5 millimeters rifle bullets from a distance of 100 meters. One of the versions of the improved body armor can serve as a new type of body armor for an officer. 30 units of which entered the supply in 1936 for the Rikuzentai detachment in Shanghai. This modification had a somewhat lightweight design up to 8.5 kilograms and a leather surface coating. Another direction in the manufacture of individual body armor by private Japanese manufacturers was variations on the type of British-French Brigantine series de Field de Shield body armor of the First World War. These Japanese bulletproof vests were breastplates without back protection assembled from rectangular steel plates, which were fastened with two rivets. In the photograph, the bulletproof vest has traces of rusty spots from the plates, as a result of high humidity during storage. So these are not camouflage spots, as it seems at first glance. Characteristics of body armor Kimura type. The thickness of the plates is 5 to 6 millimeters weight 6.5 kilograms. Provides protection against pistol bullets and edged weapons. One of the options to make mass body armor for the rank and file of the Imperial Army at the expense of public organizations can be called a variant of the plate breastplate of the flexible and flexible type. This design consisted of corrugated plates placed on a canvas base, and connected by cords but to joint without overlap. The shoulders were protected by shoulder pads made of flat plates. This improvised protection with a thickness of only 4 mm was intended to protect mainly against fragments and cold weapons. Back protection, as in previous models, was not provided. The weight of the bib is about 5.5 kg. The funds collected from the population were enough to place small orders with private metalworking companies. The number made by different manufacturers remained unknown. The body armor bibs packed in boxes were accompanied by instructions for use by Japanese soldiers and wishes of good luck in battle. The next model of the Army Officer body armor developed by the East Asian Industrial Research Institute is structurally attributed to the flexible endo type. The manufactured design is a further development of flexible breastplates, body armor, and the improvement of products went in the direction of simplifying manufacturing. So instead of fasteners from rivets, 5 mm carbon steel plates were placed in separate meshes of fabric and, in turn, sewn to the canvas base. The plates are placed so as to overlap the joints, that is, overlap. Dimensions height 355 mm, with 330 mm. The plates provided protection against pistol bullets, shrapnel, and soft lead rifle bullets. The weight of the structure is about 6.5 kg. The traditional direction in the manufacture of body armor using simplified technologies of late Japanese medieval samurai armor could be observed in endotype breastplates. The lamellar construction of the plates of which had some similarities with the Japanese Kiko Brigantines, Infantry Armor, Ashiguru. It consists of 21 steel strips fastened together by three rows of spring loops on rivets. As well as the name of the manufacturers, so the characteristics remain unknown. The above-mentioned parade-type breastplates include bulletproof vests that were equipped with employees of the South Manchurian Railway Company or Mantetsu for short. After the outbreak of hostilities against China in 1937, the attacks on trains and individual locomotives from firearms by the Chinese mainly artisanal rifles and shotguns became more frequent. To this end, through the efforts of the South Manchurian Railway Company, bulletproof vests were made to provide protection for the soldiers of the Imperial Army accompanying the trains, conductors, and locomotive drivers. The number of manufactured body armor is not known. The bulletproof vest was a more difficult to manufacture segmental breastplate array consisting of five rows of plates mutually overlapping each other. The characteristics of the body armor are not known. Armor of Lieutenant Kanemaru 
one of the strange and atypical methods of individual body armor used by the Japanese military during the fighting in China can be called a story with a photograph of an unknown Japanese officer in armor. A photograph published in the Osaka Asahi Shimbun of May 13, 1928 in an article on the Genese incident of 1928's in High Revolution is often used as an example of militant militarism among the Japanese officer corps. Body Armor Type 92 the development of individual armor protection equipment bulletproof equipment for infantry engineering units operating outside portable protective shields, begun by the first technical directorate of the Imperial Army Institute at the end of 1931, was presented in the form of a Type 92 body armor. Late model Type 92 could be supplemented with a special protective cap on a metal base. Also, the late modification received back protection from separate plates 4 mm thick, the weight increased accordingly. Accepted for supply in 1932 by the Imperial Army, the Type 92 body armor was used not only by engineering units, but by police units. The total number of Type 92 bulletproof vests produced is estimated at no more than 5,000 units. Later models continued in limited production for the self-defense forces and the police, and were used after the war until the mid-60s. Characteristics of Body Armor Type 92 Weight 3.6 kg Armor 4 mm thick Portable Armored Shield Type 93 Mobile Firing Point Type 93 Q Sanchiki Tendo Bate this mobile bulletproof design has become one of the most recognizable due to its curiosity. The history of the Type 93 mobile machine gun point began on December 16, 1933. Portable machine gun shield Type 98 light. The hole served for a neck strap to be used as a breastplate. Portable machine gun shield Type 99 light. This body armor is also referred to as the Type 38 Rifle Shooter Protection and is a design adapted to the new requirements of the Light Body Armor Type 98. Portable Machine Gun Shield Type 99 Heavy In August 1938, a heavy version was tested, designed to protect the gunner of a light machine gun. Type 99 Armored Shield Heavy was also used with Type 99 and Type 97 machine guns. Bulletproof Vest Type 1 according to the Australian-American classification. The designation of this kit is not of Japanese origin, the original name has not been preserved. In the post-war period, the documentation of the Japanese arsenals turned out to be incomplete and partially lost destroyed before surrender in 1945. Bulletproof Vest Type 2 according to the Australian-American classification. The next sample of the Japanese body armor that got as a trophy in New Guinea to the Australian troops and received the name Type 2 according to the Australian designation system was the previously familiar new type of body armor for an officer. Armored protection kit for anti-aircraft ship crew Type 3 according to the Australian-American classification. Among the Japanese trophy property, a set of individual armor protection, called Type 3, fell into the hands of the Australians and Americans. During the Second Sino-Japanese War from 1937 to 1945, a set of hidden armor protection in the form of rectangular plates made of carbon steel 2 mm thick. These plates small were placed in breast pockets, and the larger plate was placed under clothing to protect the abdominal cavity. The effectiveness remains unknown. The special spherical helmet is often referred to in auction descriptions as the M44 helmet for the suicidal Cinea boat drivers. The use of these helmets as equipment for special attack units is confirmed, but initially the area of application was, the protection of shooters and gunners of deck anti-aircraft guns. Navy and Army Anti-Fragmentation Body Armor Not attributed trophies of 1945 to 1946 According to Japanese military historians, it is almost impossible to establish whether there was a centralized production of personal protective equipment that qualifies as anti-fragmentation naval body armor. Soldiers Shovel Yanshi One of the unmentioned means of protection in the Japanese army was the soldiers Shovel Yanshi. Another artifact. Bulletproof Kit Cuirass, 
leggings for an airplane pilot. Unfortunately, there are no details. The officer's body armor plates are located in front and on the back, in the heart area there is an additional armor plate. Officer's self-made body armor. Brass plates, according to rumors, it was used in the initial period of the war with China, some claim that it was used by female officers, but there is no direct evidence. Chinese armor. Contrary to popular belief, plates of iron or manganese steel were inserted into armor of this type, while they gave good protection against fragments and pistol bullets. Trophy was used by the Japanese in the initial period of the war in China. It is worth noting that the so-called samurai vest often had an inside pocket into which a metal plate could be inserted to increase protection. Japanese body armor from World War II. Origin unknown. From the Australian Museum. Bulletproof vest made of two plate steel. The lower part of the groin has a bullet or shrapnel hole with a diameter of approximately 20 millimeters. They were worn by Japanese soldiers during World War II. Origin is unknown. Body armor for the abdomen.